This design looks gorgeous whether you're wearing your yoga clothes or sweatpants or an evening dress. I'm talking about French tip nails. I like how they look. I like doing this, but not on myself, especially with non-dominant hand, because you know how challenging it may be to get this crisp, perfect symmetrical smile line. But luckily, BT Artbox created the soft gel tips of different length and shapes with French nails. And this is what I'm going to try on myself because it's definitely time to do nails on my right hand. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Anastasia. Let's unpack BT Art Box soft gel tips. This is three in one soft gel system because every tip already includes base coat, soft gel tip, and a tip primer. As you can see, they're matte, on top as well as underneath, so we will not need to buff them or to use primer for a better adhesion. They come in different shapes and lengths. This one is short almond and we also have medium almond with natural pink color. Short square nails, short coffin, and the one I showed you at the beginning is medium coffin. The kit also includes gel glue and tack-free top coat, as well as portable UV and LED lamp with BT Art Box logo. Let's unpack it and take a look. This lamp is tiny and perfect for freeze curing tips as you apply them on your nails. And it also has a USB cord which means you can even use it with a power bank. I got a little lost as I started choosing the shape, so let's do the fitting together. We have short square, short coffin, this one looks cute, short almond, medium almond, and the last one is medium coffin. Which one do you think would look better on my nails? Meanwhile, I'm going to remove the old product and I think this manicure is terribly outdated. I was testing something, I believe it was liquid chrome on my thumb, and then I was doing some more experiments on my other nails, so I just ended up using um, this top coat with a silver foil just to hide it. This is totally normal state of my right hand because she's always a model for me for different crazy experiments. By the way, this is not the first time me trying BT Art Box nails. I already tried their tips before. I will leave the link in the upper right corner so you can check it out too. I really enjoyed working with these tips because they had this curve. They were very thin, but still flexible and strong enough. But my favorite part was that they have 15 sizes instead of regular 10 or 11 because there's always this client, or maybe it's yourself, when you cannot fit the perfect size for your pinky, because all these sizes, they're just too big for it. Or the opposite, the thumb is too big. So I think this is perfect when they have 15 sizes, you will definitely find the one to choose from. Let's continue with the prep. Keep in mind that I'm working with my non-dominant hand, in this video so it's not going to be as fast as usual. I gently push back the cuticles with orange wood stick and then I will proceed to dry manicure. Many years ago, before I became a nail technician, I was going to a nail technician myself and French nails was one of my favorite designs because like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I think it perfectly suits any outfit, whether it's like office outfit or it's something informal or even it's just a sweatpants when you go for jogging because you are not limited to any specific color and it just looks great and i love doing french nails all the time but then i became my own nail technician and i had french nails many times as well but as you know, doing this smile line, especially with your non-dominant hand, is not the easiest thing in the world. So I'm super excited to have these French nails again without the need to hand paint this smile line with my left hand. Then I take off the surface shine with 180 grit buffer. This part is super important because if you not do it right, they're not going to last. 
Finally, I trim the cuticles carefully with cuticle scissors and make sure that everything is smooth and clean. Before you apply any prep products, I recommend you to pick the correct sizes, which is very convenient because this is what the tips are located. You simply fit it. If it's too big or too small, you switch to another one. The tip should cover the entire nail plate from one side to the other. I like that these tips, they have this slight curve. They are very thin near the cuticle area and slightly thicker on the free edge, which makes them look like a sculptured nails. Before applying the product, make sure that you do not have any skin, debris or dust leftovers. Then we apply dehydrator, let dry and I apply gel glue, which also works as the base coat. You need to apply a thin coat on the nail plate, make sure that you are not touching the skin and most importantly, do not apply too much. The less product you apply at this point, the better adhesion will be. I recommend you to apply it on four nails, excluding the thumb first. And then as you cure this hand, you can apply the base coat on the opposite thumb at the same time if you're working with client. If you're working on yourself, then I recommend you to apply it four nails, cure them, and then apply it on the thumb separately to be sure that it's all cured. Then we need to apply some gel underneath the tip near the cuticle area. Gently press onto the nail and cure. That's it. I think this is one of the fastest nail extensions I've ever done with my non-dominant hand. I like that these tips have this beautiful natural light pink color, but it's also slightly see-through. So you can see if you have any bubbles there, if you notice that you did not apply enough gel, it's better to not cure it. Just take it away, clean and start over. Because if you will have a bubble in the middle, they're not going to last. As you press on the tip, freeze cure it in this small lamp for 10 seconds and then fully cure in regular LED lamp. And we are almost done. I love the way they look right now. Maybe I should even keep them matte. I don't think I've ever had white French tip nails with matte top coat. What do you think, guys? The only filing and shaping you need to do, which will take you less than 30 seconds, is the free edge just to get rid of this residue that we had as I was applying the tips. By the way, you can also do it before applying the tips on your nails. It's up to you. As much as I enjoyed this white French tip matte nails, I still decided that we need to go for the glossy top coat and also add a couple stickers. I will add one which says live by the sun and another one love by the moon. This is the regular sticker, not the water sticker. So you just apply it on top of the nail. Make sure you do not have any bubbles. And finally, we seal it with a glossy top coat. These are definitely one of the best soft gel tips I recently tried. I will leave the links to these products in the description below. I cured the top coat and this is my new manicure that was done within half an hour. I ended up picking short coffin shape because I wanted to try it for quite a while and I think it looks good with the length of my natural nail beds. What do you think guys? Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post tutorials and product reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.